All right, it's the time for business, and Sandra Feno has joined me. Hello, Sandra. Hello, Israel. How are you? I'm very well, and right. you? A lot to talk about in business. Oh, yes, I know. Yeah. So you bring us to business. Right? All right. Good evening, everyone. My name is Sandra Sinema and I'm here for business. Over 1,000 customers of defunct fund management firms were left stranded at various branches of the Consolidated Bank Ghana, CBC, CBG, in parts of the Ashanti region. The exercise was expected to begin this morning for the payment of their locked up funds with defunct investment companies. Prince of Pia reports validation agents failed to show up at the various centers, leaving customers disappointed. So we are here at the Consolidated Bank of Ghana branch at Edum, and there are hundreds of um, customers of the defunct fund management companies here to be part of the validation exercise scheduled to begin today. But surprisingly, it's almost 12, and most of them have been here since 6 a.m. and nothing at all is happening here. No official is present. And what has become of the customers here is that they've decided to form queues and write down their names so that perhaps if the exercise will start today, they would have a smooth exercise. But what they are telling us is that they are really stranded and they are disappointed in the exercise that was supposed to start today, but nothing has started. Maybe do have 5.30. I have been here since 5 a.m. We are happy the validation is starting. I am number 33, but no one is attending to us. I came here around 6 to 7. We are standing, nobody is standing as anything. When we call the second life, they will tell us that they are coming, they are coming, they are coming, but nobody is coming. So we are all standing, even some people have left here. No tent here. Uh, so now they will number up to more than 600. Uh, we are very disappointed because by now it should have been to work. But as you can see, we've all stopped work and we are here just waiting for the personnel to come and none of them is in and nobody is telling us anything. The expectation is that authorities would come to their aid and begin the exercise for them so that they would at least have some hope, especially as Christmas approaches. My name is Prince Sapia reporting. Meanwhile, back here in Accra, Fred Duho visited Kukumimi branch of CBG and reports customers were made to pay 50 passwords for validation forms. I have one gentleman here with me to share some experience with us. Hello, welcome to Joy Business. Thank you. Uh, when did you come here and what have they been telling you? Oh, I've been here for the last 10 minutes. They just told us to go for the forms. And uh, the forms are finished here. So some people are taking advantage and they are selling the forms. So that's what I went to buy. For how much? 50 pesos per form. 50 pesos. Okay, so after filling this form, what, have they given you any guidance as to how to fill this form? No, some people are sitting there. It's all overcrowded. When you go, they will not get the time to actually um, help you out because many people are there. Mm. But I believe it's the pressure over there. Mm. Yes. And so what will be your expectations after filling this form? Well, I'm expecting the money to come before Christmas, if it's possible, so that we can have something, because people are really suffering. Uh, this money has been with them for quite a long time now, and uh, it's not helping anybody. It, we feel cheated. We feel, I mean, we, as if we've been robbed. So if they can settle us quick, we'll be okay. Already we've lost a lot as a result of this. Which of the fund management have you invested with? Uh, go Cold, go, go cold school, um, Fund Management, currently Black Shell Capital. Are you hopeful that you're going to get your entire investment with interest? Hmm. That's what should be, but I doubt if they will be, they'll be doing that. Would you be comfortable with any amount they offer you from now because uh, you look so desperate? You, you use the word, so desperate. I'm, I'm not, we are not comfortable with any amount because this is a legal uh, establishment that we, de we are dealing with. So like everything should go normally. We shouldn't, if, if anything at all, we shouldn't be the casualties, the regulators. 
and all those are the people who must be held because we, we, we must put our confidence in them. We did, and that's the, what it's turning out to be. Um, okay, so uh, you just heard from one of the people who currently are here to fill the validation form to begin processes of getting their uh, investment from their fund managers. Fred Duho, Joy Business. We have been trying to get some answers from the Securities and Exchange Commission, but it's been unsuccessful as and when we do get a response, we'll surely update you. Two other stories now. Vice President Dr. Mahmoud Baumia has charged newly inaugurated Ghana Deposit Protection Corporation to find innovative ways of ensuring the safety of depositors' fund. According to him, the corporation must be transparent in order to bring back confidence to the banking sector. Dr. Baumia made a call when opening the African Regional Assistance Committee workshop in Accra. The Ghana Deposit Protection Scheme is established to reimburse insured depositors where the Bank of Ghana revokes the licenses of a bank or specialized deposit-taking institution. The scheme, which began operation, has been hailed as the perfect response to the cry of depositors. Vice President Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, in a keynote speech at the workshop and unveiling ceremony for the scheme, taxed the corporation to make Ghana's banking sector attractive. Operating in a largely reformed financial sector, the corporation needs to ensure the necessary public education about the scheme, its operations, and benefits to every depositor. Such an education is invaluable, it's an invaluable public good, and we must get on with it as soon as possible. The general public must gain the confidence that even in the event of a failure of a financial institution, the funds of depositors are secure, at least to a certain limit. On his part, Governor of the Bank of Ghana, Dr. Ernest Addison, expressed confidence that the establishment of the corporation provides the country with an opportunity to showcase the readiness to strengthen the financial sector. The establishment of GDPC therefore comes as a big relief and a welcome addition to Ghana's financial safety net apparatus as it puts the nation in a state of readiness to better manage the failure of banks and deposit-taking financial institutions. The corporation is the sole mandatory body for the deposit protection scheme. Eben Sabote's report for Joy Business. That's all for business for now. My name is Sandra Essen. I'm back after 8 p.m. with more business news.